everyone. We're here at the freezing cold office of the sleep store. I've just taken off my woolly hat because, you know, being live on camera. So we're going to be talking today about layering up your merino and other sleepwear to keep your little ones cozy. Apparently tomorrow is going to be the coldest day so far this year. So brr, um, I'll be putting my hat back on in a minute. So, would you like to win something to start? It's always good to kick off with a giveaway. So, I'll hop out of the way and you can just see what do you like the look of that you can see that you'd like to win for your little one. Pick one thing and put it in the comments and James will draw a winner in a few minutes time. So I thought what we'd do today, James has set everything up beautifully, showing off uh, mostly our Sleep Store Merino range and also some of our new um, organic cotton that's just arrived. And we thought we'd just go through and talk about the kind of inside layers and the outside layers of clothing and then different weights of sleeping bags, how you can kind of put that all together to keep your little ones nice and snug all night. So in our sleep store merino, we have a bunch of different garments. We have the little singlet, um, and then this also comes in a singlet suit. Um, short sleeve body suits in merino and new this year and then we have two different sorts of body suits we have our 220 gram ribbed merino body suits this is our beautiful new forest green marl which is my absolute favorite and then we also have a 200 gram jacquard body suits which um, are these ones here so they come in designs we have the denim uh, the mint and also the grey stripe, this one up here. So when you are keeping your little ones warm and cosy, we recommend from sort of now, well, I've been wearing a merino singlet for months, <laughs> I'm a bit obsessed, but with your little ones, we recommend for, uh, for day and for night that you always start with a merino layer against the skin. Um, if you're using good quality merino like ours, you'll find that it is super soft, uh, not at all itchy. Um, and it really helps to regulate temperature and keep your little ones cozy. So if their core is warm, um, it will you know, really increase the chance that the rest of them stays warm. All of our merino is um, classed as um, extra fine. So there's different degrees of um, quality of merino depending on how fine the fibres are. Um, and so you're looking for the fineness of the merino, so these are all extra fine. And then you're also looking for the weight of the merino. So our body suits, all our inside um, layers are all either 200 or 220 gram merino. So that makes them warmer. So if you're comparing our brand of merino with other brands, like your kind of um, cheaper chain store merino, or the sort that you often see at like 50% off, you really want to check the fineness of the merino and the grams so that you know you're comparing like for like. Um, so yeah, so choose um, either one or two layers um, of your inside layers. So I would probably you know start with a bodysuit or, or use a singlet if it's a toddler or up. Um, based on customer requests, we actually have made our bodysuits uh, go up to size three this year. So I know from looking at different um, posts on mums groups, you know, on Facebook and so on. But lots of people are looking for size 3 bodysuits, so ours do go up to that. And I'm not sure what size our singlets go up to, but they go well up into kind of school age size as well. And then once you've sorted out your inside layer, then you're going to choose the next layer. And we have a bunch of different options for the next layer. Um, for little ones, um, a nighty is the easiest, so combine, you can go all matchy-matchy, or you could, you know, go coordinated, let's have a different one. So you go bodysuit on the inside, and then go a merino nighty over the top. So this makes your nappy changing really simple, you can use the drawstring to pull it in to keep the little feet warm, and then that's your two core layers for a newborn. And then for older children, for sort of, um, well these actually start from new, from zero to three months as well, and they go to a size five. Um, so this is our zip suit. So again, here's my green body suit. I am obsessed with the green. Start with your body suit and then pop your zip suit over the top. And then that's your kind of two um, 
standard layers for night time right through winter. And then you can add socks to that, um, but this will mean that your core is really warm. And regardless of whether you're using bedding or if you're using a sleeping bag, um, we do recommend those two layers. And then if um, your bedroom is chilly, um, then this year we actually have um, these little merino long sleeve tops in our sleep store brand, but we also have um, Mokapuna, Babu and Icebreaker Merino tops that you can use for the same purpose. So if it's really cold, you could do those three layers together. So bodysuit on the inside, merino suit, and then another merino layer on the top. Or you could put that inside like that. So three layers of merino for cold rooms, two, um, two for sort of, I don't know, 20 degree-ish kind of rooms. And then for really, really cold houses, or for bigger kids that aren't using a sleeping bag, this is our Merino Fleece onesie. So we've made this product for a number of years now. It's, it's unique to us. If you have a look, hopefully that'll still stay in focus. Um, you can see the inside is fluffy. So it's still 100% Merino. It's not like polar fleece, it's Merino fleece. So 100% Merino super um, cozy, really, really good for temperature regulation. So this works um, particularly well for older children, uh, you know, for sort of three, four year olds who might still be kicking their bedding off. So you can wear this with bedding, but if your kids kick their bedding off, they're still gonna stay pretty warm in this. And again, you can combine this with an inside layer of a singlet or a bodysuit. Or you could put pyjamas and put this over the top. So that's our two suits, zip suit or the heavier fleece onesie. And then also we have oops, socks. <laughs> we also have our merino pyjamas, which these go up to a size 8. They're a slightly different shape this year. We've just updated them so they've got cuffs on the bottom. They've got a bit... Um, flared, they were looking like a bit like a 70s throwback. So this is the new shape of the pants. And here's the top, which also has cuffs now rather than just a sewn round there. So our pa merino pyjamas start from zero to three months and they go up to eight years. So lots and lots of options to enjoy those. Stacey Bennett asks, is it effective to layer cotton in between, say if all the merino is in the wash, uh, like a merino singlet with long sleeve cotton bodysuit, then merino or cotton PJs on top? Yeah, I think wherever possible, put the merino against your skin, because that's what will feel the co coziest, and that's how you'll get the most benefit um, from the temperature regulation and from the layering. Also, merino is brilliant if your child does get a little clammy, sweaty, you know, you've put too, ma too many blankets on or you haven't quite got it right, merino will stay comfortable even if it gets a little damp, like a leaky nappy or from sweating. But if the merino is all in the wash, it's all in the wash, just, you know, put an extra layer of cotton. Cotton's not as warm and it doesn't have the temperature regulation, so yeah, if you've got any merino, I will put it against the skin and then put the cotton on top of that. Uh, Raywin asked, does the zip suit come in forest green as well? Alas, no, I don't know what I was thinking. We went for the mint. We were trying feedback from um, customers last year was that when we did, um, we did all my favourite colours like bright turquoise and hot pink and black and white and the feedback from lots of people was that you wanted to have some baby colours <laughs> for babies and so this year that's why we chose the mint green with a little, cute little dot so that this is really our baby um, this colour, this yeah, this colour is available in, in toddler sizes as well, um, but the mint was really for the little ones, and then the mint green, the forest green, is the jammies and the bodysuits and also blankets. It's actually a different sort of merino. It's a different. Um, the knit is different, so we could have kind of used the same, couldn't swap the yarn between the different sorts of styles. So these are ribbed, and these are jacquard um, knit into the pattern. And then the grey stripe, um, that's the same sort of yarn as that. 
but because everybody loves grey, we have grey in everything. So grey in the body suits, the sleeping bags, and the onesies. Uh, look, Laura asked, do you sell the merino sleeveless body suits for a one-year-old? I believe we do, yes. I think our singlet suit, I can't remember if it goes up to a one or a two, because I'm a bit confused, because just today I have to confirm the order for all of this for next winter, which feels very um, scary given we haven't even had this winter yet. But um, at the moment I'm pretty sure it goes up to a one. And also we had a couple of random um, size ones left in our Mokapuna singlet suits and I just put those in our clearance sale which started today. Okay, so that's your, there's another um, outer layer that you can combine bodysuit and merino pyjamas. And that combo you can use from newborn because the pyjamas went right down to zero to three months this year. You know, and with, um, with babies, you don't actually have pyjamas or day clothes, they're just all clothes for babies. So this would be a really nice little suit for every day. And my kids um, have used these tops, you know, not partic not especially for pyjamas either. I think Eddie went off to school in a grey one a couple of days ago, that is his jersey, because they are actually quite thick. Okay, so, should we draw our first giveaway, James? Yeah. Um, Kim Cranbrook. Kim Cranbrook? What did Kim choose? Oh. Oh no. We're going to have to scroll Kim, back up tell us time. again what you chose. You're the winner. So anything you can see here. So then what we thought we would do, if you have any other questions about the specific um, garments in the range um, of the inner and outer layers, then shout. Um, and if we don't get to them, James and I will be very diligent answering them later, I promise. So now let's just have a look at the different sorts of weights of um, sleeping bags and how you can layer up with that. So this is our new um, print, isn't it cute? This is pegboard in our new pink version. We had a multicoloured one in summer. So this is our one tog sleeping bag. So it's, it's actually for a cotton bag. It's actually quite chunky. Um, and this is with cotton pyjamas on the inside. So that's, that's the cute little jammies. So that would be a suitable combo for this time of the year if your bedroom's around sort of I guess 22, 2022 and then if it was chilly you could add merino bodysuit inside. So cotton jammies, cotton bag, merino on the <coughs> inside. Oh look here's the, um, we just have to show you all the designs, here's the new llama sleeping bag and the llama jammies. Make a tongue twister. <laughs> okay, so then, um, yeah, so you can put any of the pajamas, like the green. You could go cotton sleeping, cotton pajamas. You wouldn't go two lots of pajamas. That would just be weird. Body suit, cotton pajamas, or rather than the cotton jammies, you could do. Merino bodysuit, merino pyjamas, one tog sleeping bag. And then if, um, oops I lost the zip suit, but here it is. Just between the zip suit um, and the PJs, Marie asks, is, uh, is one fabric softer or warmer than another? Hmm, so the pyjamas are 220 gram merino. And there are ribs, so they're, um, I'll show the best here, is that still in focus? So you can see that um, the pyjamas are very stretchy rib, um, and the jacquard, I don't know if you can see the, the knit, this is extremely soft, and the grey stripe is the softest of all. It's just, it's called a double face merino, and the way it's come out is just unbelievably soft. So um, 220 for the rib, 200 for the zip suits. So the pajamas are technically slightly warmer, but they're a two piece, and so you might um, get a cold tummy. Not really. The tops are quite long. They're designed to sit um, sort of low, like this t-shirt. And then if you, you know, were really worried about the cold, or depending on, on you know, the room temperature, you'd go bodysuit and then jammies over the top. Uh, the pyjamas are now quite close fitting, whereas they used to be quite baggy, so they're probably going to be similar warmth. I don't think there's a lot in it. It's more whether, you know, for kids that are toilet training and you want to 
two pieces easier. Um, bigger kids, obviously, the pajamas go to an eight. Um, some people don't like, you know, the the full zip. They find that, you know, some people love the zip, some people don't. So um, they're they're pretty comparable in weight, really. Okay, so let's have another look at a combo. A couple of combos. We often get asked um, for a sleeping bag that will work all year round. Uh, lots of our customers, you know, want that unicorn sleeping bag that's perfect for every temperature regardless. Hey, we should have made a unicorn Whoa. sleeping bag rather than a llama. It would have been so good. Get the Sharpie out. <laughs> Put a horn on the llamas and it'll be perfect. So um, one thing that, you know, it's really hard to have a sleeping bag that works for all bedroom temperatures year round because if you think of your own bedding at the moment like I've got a 400 gram wool duvet and in the summer I just have a sheet so you know if you personally have that kind of variety or range of bedding it's hard to get a sleeping bag that does all of that perfectly but what you can do is go for a mid-weight bag and then really layer up the merino that you put inside it so it's working like um like a light blanket all year round but with just lots more bedding and lots more clothing inside so this is a, um, quite a popular combination is to use um, our thickest fleece suit um, in a lighter weight bag like this is the one tog um, or this is our three seasons wool babe uh, with the fleece on the inside Rhiannon has that question uh Rihanna Morris has that question. She says, I have a room temperature of 19 to 20 degrees and a three seasons wool babe. Yeah. What should I be putting my two year old in PJ wise? Yeah, well you could, um, you could definitely use the fleece onesie and then that would cover you for a, you know, in the next little while your two year old says no more sleeping bag. Then you just swap to just using the onesie and attempting to keep um, bedding on them. Um, or you could go for the zip suit. Um, and a body suit. You probably, if you're using the three seasons um, and a onesie, you probably don't also need the body suit. You might end up with a very toasty child. Um, but that combination of body suit or singlet um, and either pajamas or zip suit would be really good. And then you could also do the same with cotton pajamas three seasons and a merino layer inside like a bodysuit but 19 is still quite cool so and it's 19 degrees is kind of getting to the bottom range that you use the three seasons in so that's when you really want to layer up with a warm suit on the inside so that's another version there this is our single layer here's our beautiful soft grey stripe so yum I think we're going to order this for a navy stripe for next year what do you think Tell me yes or no, navy stripe, <laughs> help me make up my mind. Amanda, who's on maternity leave, is convinced that it should only come in forest green stripe, but she's not here, so. <laughs> yeah, but it is a tempting combination. I'm torn, I'm like, oh, navy stripe, like, oh yes, but Navy forest. stripe seems really safe, but forest green would be so oh. lush. Maybe we'll do that. <laughs> Maybe we'll drop the grey, but anyway, we're getting sidetracked. So this is um, a one layer merino bag. It's quite hard to work out where this fits, but we think this is a, about as warm as a three seasons wool babe. Even though it's only one layer, it's 100% merino. So probably it will be around here somewhere. Cotton one top, one layer merino, three seasons wool babe. And then next snuggliest is our two layer um, winter bag. So this is 200 grams on the outside, 170 on the inside. We confused everybody by changing it from last year. And that's the adorable little newborn size. Isn't that so cute? That's from newborn to six months. Courtney asks, um, what do I put my nine month uh, in a room with a panel heater where it says that it's generally 16 to 17 degrees? Okay, 16 to 17 is pretty cool but it's not too cold. Under 16 is too cold. Um, you know, and if you have a wool babe, it will come with a room thermometer. Um, or oh, we love the grow clock too. I'm just seeing here, it's actually warmed up in here. It's 19 degrees now. It's fine, I've taken my woolly hat off now. 
So at 16 degrees, sorry, whose question was that? That was Courtney. Courtney. Do you have a sleeping bag that you're using now, Courtney? Did she say what she's already using? Uh, no, but uh, Courtney, if you can post Tell in the comments. What you've got. Well, I'll give you some, some thoughts anyway. So I would probably go for 16. I'd probably be using our warmest bag, which is our duvet wool babe. And with your duvet wool babe, I would probably go long sleeve bodysuit. That's for me, that's an essential. Look, I've even got photos of my kids playing at the beach in the summer wearing <laughs> long sleeve bodysuits. Yeah. And then I would put, um, but it has to be the perfect colour. No, just kidding. Then I would probably go zip suit over the top. And that's probably, let's see what the wool babe says. 16 degrees long sleeve bodysuit top and pants and socks so here's your long sleeve bodysuit here's your top and pants so that could be top and pants with your bodysuit or it could be a merino all in one um, and then chuck a pair of lamingtons on if you need it I think wearing um, Wearing wool socks makes a huge difference. So if you, you know, like if you've got lighter weight cotton pajamas, say, get some wool socks and a wool bodysuit, and that will, you know, cover that your jammies aren't quite as snug as you'd like. Like a couple of days ago, James and I were both freezing cold all day because we wore wool crappy socks to work. Should have just gone to the warehouse and got some lamingtons, eh, James? Yeah. Um, but yeah, wool socks make a big difference to how warm your kids feel. It's one of our um, one of our things to try if your kids are waking up at like 5 a.m. Chances are it's because they're cold, and chances are socks would fix that early waking. So yeah. Courtney's replied she's got a 2.5 tog ergo pouch. 2.5 ergo pouch. Okay, so it's not quite as warm as this, but I would try those two layers first. Try a merino bodysuit and a merino all-in-one, or some other equivalent suit something like a bonds wonder suit is not as warm as this so if you're using lighter cotton like our um, organic cotton jammies if you're using something like cotton pajamas um, the merino is much warmer so if you are using cotton pajamas with your ergo pouch you definitely want a wool body suit wool socks and you might want another wool layer as well. And if you find that, um, you know, 2.5 toggets, 16 degrees, that's the absolute kind of bottom temperature that you use a um, 2.5 tog with. So you might, if you're finding that your child is still cold, you'll have to add either another layer of, of clothes inside the bag um, or see if you can boost up the heater a little bit. Best way to tell if your children are warm enough is one, if they're sleeping all through the night, then they're warm enough. <laughs> um, if they're waking up sort of between three and five and there's no other reason, like they're not usually having feeds in the night or, um, you know, there's no other kind of reason, cold is the most common reason. Um, yes, yeah, so if they're sleeping through, they're fine. If they're waking up, chances are cold could be the explanation. Feel the, um, the ears with the back of your hand or on their chest but just be mindful that when you feel them down their front with your hand if your hands cold you'll probably wake them up um, and also you know you might just be feeling your hand so the back of your hand if you can is quite good okay do we have any other combinations i should show you this um stella just asked on the um wool babe combo do you need to add a singer underneath the bodysuit body suit yeah yeah i think um for me with kids up to a two-year-old a bodysuit is so much preferable to a singlet because it doesn't ride up so you know when kids are quite wriggly even in a sleeping bag they're still going to be twisting and turning and wriggling so a bodysuit which is snapped under the crotch um, it means that they're warm all the way down they don't get that kind of cold tummy um, and you you're sure that it stays on all night so I would always whatever weight of bag or whether you're using bedding or a sleeping bag or a sleep suit I would always start with a long sleeve body suit if you need to um, add another layer you could actually put a little sleeveless singlet 
on over the bodysuit. I wouldn't put a singlet under a bodysuit because this will just go <laughs> and then it'll be really annoying up around here. So you could do that as a little clip over the top layer. That looks weird because this is like a one and that's a three. <laughs> oh, these do come in a three. Look, it's a three. <laughs> Holder. Okay, any other questions um, for us? Alicia, Alicia Evans, she's got... Um, She's wondering how long sleep sacks last. She's got um, one from her friend that her friend used for three kids before her. And she's just wondering if the, the warmth of her merino bag has kind of gone over time. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting question. I had someone the other day email and she was using her duvet wool bag for her fifth child. I was impressed she had five children, but um, she had, had wondered the same question. I think if it's if it's 100% merino, um, Unless it's really sort of become threadbare, then it's going to be pretty much as warm. Um, something with a filling, like a polyester filling bag, they definitely kind of compact and lose their warmth over time. And a wool babe has still got the same amount of wool in it, the same amount of merino filling. But, you know, they do kind of, by the fifth child, they're looking a little bit thinner. So. My third child, I think you should still be fine, but you know, if in doubt, just pop another, either use a warmer second layer and make sure that you've got your trusty bodysuit. I think I should give away a bodysuit since I'm such a fan. Would you like a bodysuit? You can have, so our, our main bodysuit colours, our ribbed bodysuit colours, let's see, too many things in my hand. So our new colours this year are the oatmeal. We decided to um, ditch cream this year. We might still have some of last year's cream. Oatmeal, navy, grey or forest green. So if you'd like a bodysuit, just comment now and we'll draw one. Jennifer asks, uh, with the wool babe, the duvet wool babe, her yep. baby is waking at 4 a.m. with a merino bodysuit and a fleece onesie on. Would you recommend adding socks? Room is about 18 degrees. Always add socks. If in doubt, add socks. Um, how old's the baby? Does it say? Does, yeah, does it say? It, it was 18 degrees with a duvet wool babe and a onesie and a bodysuit. Yes. That's a pretty toasty combo. So yeah, you could add socks. Um, you know, if you you feel down inside and if your baby feels cozy like your baby shouldn't be red and sweaty but they shouldn't feel cold they should feel you know a comfortable warm temperature so if they're comfortable and warm then that's covered if they're waking at 4 a.m it could be something else it could you know babies all wake multiple times through the night it could be that they just are in the habit of it um are you you're normally feeding or whatever maybe um maybe it's a habit thing to kind of look at if they feel warm enough. But for sure, try the socks. Nothing to lose, they'll just have toasty little feet on top of being awake if, if it's not that. Aisha asks, she has, um, she has a heating system and keeps her rooms around 20 to 22 degrees. Should she be getting a, a one tog to last her the year or still get a 2.5 tog for, just for winters? Um, if it's 20 to 22, that's quite warm. So, probably wouldn't need a 2.5 tog. If it was 20, a 2.5 tog would be good because then you won't need lots of layers of clothing. Maybe just normal jammies and a single little bodysuit and a 2.5 would be good at 20 degrees. At 22, um, I would probably go for either a three seasons, any of the ones at this end. For 22 degrees, you could go one tog organic cotton in the llama, of course, because it's the coolest. But you could go for what else did we do? The cross, just these three: cross, dot, or llama. And the polar bear. Did we do polar bear in the sleeping bag? Oh no, sorry. I'm no, just, just in the jammies. That was a bad move. We should have done that. We <laughs> should have done that with got, the llama. We've got it in the duvet cover. Oh yeah, we'll do that next time. Apart from the next lot of whales and things oh. that are coming. Um, yeah. So sorry. Back to your 20, 20 to twenty-two degrees. Any of the ones at this end will be fine. This is the lightest weight, one tog, one layer merino, three seasons wool babe. Any of those three, and then you can just layer up how much clothing. So, you know, if it's 20, 
bodysuit. Oh, you know, this kind of combo. If it's if you go for the warmer, it keeps tripping me up and just tied them together. Um, at 22, you could do three seasons wool, babe, and just cotton jammies. No, no, that's okay. Yeah. I think one of the key things, um, you know, for you guys to take away from today is that you've got to trust your own judgment and you've got to use your kind of instincts about whether something feels warm enough. We get questions every day from stressed out mums about, oh my God, how many pairs of clothes should they wear? You just have to trust yourself. You know, there's not like a magic recipe. There's not like an answer to how many clothes your kids should wear. I even had someone recently ask me, what tog rating and how many layers of bedding should their child use with a particular pair of pyjamas and I'm like I don't know they're just pyjamas so you just got to trust your judgment and that's where using the merino really really helps because it takes so much of the guesswork out if the core is warm put some more layers on until they feel warm enough if they feel too warm take some layers off you don't need a recipe you just need to trust yourselves okay Casey asks is there a uh, related to that, Casey asked, is there an ideal room temperature if you can control the temperature? Of the yeah, room? if you can control the temperature, you're looking for around 18 up to 20 degrees. Um, the World Health Organization is really clear that under 16 can lead to increase of respiratory illness. So that's your asthma, bronchiolitis, bronchitis, pneumonia, all those nasties. I've had all of those and they're all quite foul and my room's quite warm enough. <laughs> um, so you don't want to put your child in a room under 16 degrees overnight if you can help it. You know, some of us have drafty cold houses, some of us can't afford to run a heater all night. Um, you know, everyone's circumstances are different, but if you can control it, aiming for around 18 to 20. Over 20 starts to be harder to settle and sleep. The air will start to feel drier. You need to run your humidifier to counteract the heating. Um, and you know in the summer the warmer it is, the harder it is to go to sleep. So, you know, our advice is 18 to 20 degrees. That's based on the World Health Organization recommendations. And 18 will feel cooler than you think your child should be sleeping in. So like today, this is this is 19 here, and I've got a couple of, actually have taken off one of my scruffy at Merino, especially for you guys, and my hat. But at 18, it's going to feel cooler than you think. But that's where you put the the merino against your skin and you use the bedding that's appropriate um, and then that your child will sleep better in that than they will at 22 or 24 or you know some people do really overheat their rooms into the kind of mid 20s to sort of counteract that it's winter it's very hard to sleep in a hot room hot and dry room is that hard hot and dry i mean how often i you know, if our, our, we have a heat transfer system in our house that um, pumps the hot air from our lounge through a duct um, down into our bedroom and I wake up more from the room being too hot and needing a glass of water than if it's cold and I just pull the duvet a bit snugger. So yeah, that's it. It's, you don't want it too hot because then it'll dry you out and your kids will wake up uncomfortable and you'll be like, but the room's warm enough but it might be too warm. Um, related to, to, to the question we had earlier, Jenna asked, do wool babe tog ratings reduce after washing? Hmm, no, I don't think so. No, I mean the wool babe's not tog rated, it's made out of natural fibre and it, um, you know, they have a very wide temperature range. Tog is very kind of precise and, um, you know, from this temperature to this temperature based on how warm it is. But, um, you know, your wool babe, a lot of duvet wool babes actually puff up a bit more. Um, been doing wash testing on the latest batch and you know they actually tend to be a bit snugger feeling after they've been washed um, and these just stay three seasons more babes just stay pretty much the same year after year so we picked that bodysuit winner james then we probably should like yeah. wrap it up sam goodin who's actually just uh, just put on comment in, but sam goodin is the winner sam goodin you're the winner you're a familiar name sam goodin do you always watch our facebooks or have i answered questions from you before mm -hmm. anyway so you can choose um from one of these beautiful colors did she put it sam's gonna go for the the green forest the forest group good choice our new favorite okay so i think um let's have one more competition and this one's also to win a bodysuit. 
and you can choose this time you can choose a bodysuit because this is our first year of doing these beautiful patterned bodysuits. I think someone should win one of these. So these um, also go up to a size three. Was I right about that? I can't remember. I think they do. The bodies and some of the colours, I can confirm that later. Okay, let's say up to a size two just to cover ourselves. Um, so put the size you want to win, and the three colours for these bodysuits is the denim, the grey stripe, or the beautiful, cute baby mint green. Uh, there was a question from May, I can't see it in the comments, because uh, I can't go back that far, but May had a, she's got a two-year-old who doesn't like wearing onesies and doesn't like sheets. Any tips for keeping him warm? Mm. Mm. Turn the heater up? No, just kidding, I said not to do that. So, um, so doesn't like onesies, so not a, like an all-in-one, he doesn't like a sleeping bag. D didn't mention about sleeping bag, just mentioned onesies or sheets. And what age child? Two. Two. So. Um, you can definitely still use a sleeping bag um, for that age. We've got like our um, double layer merino. This is the two to four year size. So you can see I might be able to put this on in the office if it gets any colder because it's just about big enough, I swear. Long ways, not white, not width wise. <laughs> um, so with a two year old, you could definitely go for one of these. And if they're not used to a sleeping bag, um, this double layer merino is they're very soft and stretchy whereas the wool babes are a bit stiffer so if you have a child that's very wriggly and doesn't like to kind of be in one place then I would try that um, but then your other option probably is to go for bodysuit merino pajamas the two-piece and some wool socks and then you know maybe even another layer there's not really any maximum amount of layers of merino you can put on. If I think of some of the camping holidays we've been on, I've probably had five <laughs> layers on, including a woolly hat and a sleeping bag. So, um, pajamas, bodysuit, an extra top. So if you've got any just um, little icebreaker jumper or any kind of warm layer, home knitted woolly jersey even, um, oh, okay. and some socks. And that would be pretty cozy even without um, a sleeping bag. There was one more question. Sorry, the, the comments disappear after a little bit of time, but I, this went something along the lines of, uh, I have a five month old and need to, what would you recommend for keeping them warm when they're being swaddled? Right, so still swaddled. Um, I think that's where you always you know, start with your bodysuit and then inside your swaddle, you could go either a nighty. I can't remember what size these go to, but I know that our wool babe version of this um it's not quite as warm as the 100 percent merino but you could go bodysuit and a nighty and then your swaddle or you could do bodysuit zip suit and then your swaddle just depending on um how often you're having to do nappy changes if you're still doing a lot of nappy changes over the night then the nighty is definitely the easiest option um the zip suit you can easily zip it up and get one leg out but it's not as easy or you could even do the cute little merino two-piece bodysuit, two-piece and swaddle. And just while you are here, I'll show you our swaddles. I'll have to get them off here. So our, um, this merino, the, th the 200 gram merino comes in a little zip-up swaddle, which you can see on the website. Um, and I think it's been on our Facebook page as well. But we also do these amazing merino we call them a swaddle blanket because you can just um wrap it around yourself if your office is a little bit cold um, you can use it as a bassinet blanket you know just fold it over two or four times you tuck that in you can swaddle with a you can use it as a cot blanket a pram blanket um, so they come in the three the stripe the denim and the mint and then also our rib merino the green is by far the best seller, I have to tell you. So we've sold half of our stock that's meant to last for about six months. So if you want the green swaddle, you'd best snap it up soon. So the same, these are huge. You can use them for lots of things. So imagine how toasty your baby would be if you used like, the bodysuit, the nighty, the merino blanket. So cosy. We actually haven't mentioned the deal. Right. Oh, there's a deal? Okay, so the deal is 
that you can have 25% off all this lovely merino-ness. Not the wool babe stuff, but just the sleep store um, merino. So that's all our body suits, zip suits, pajamas, the cute little extra tops, the merino bags, the onesies. Is it on the cotton too? Uh, yes. Yes, yes. Any minute now, James is <laughs> adding in the cotton. Um, actually, I think the cotton pajamas are already on special. They are. Aren't they? Yes. Or are they? I can't remember. Some of them are. Some of them. Yes. Anyway, so the cotton pajamas will be in the deal too. Um, twenty five percent off. It was meant to finish yesterday, but we had all these emails yesterday pleading for it to be extended, so we extended it. So what's the code, James? I should know. Deluxe twenty five. Deluxe twenty five, because this is deluxe merino. And also, if you are, if you have got our merino, if you've tried it, can you please, please, please write a review? Uh, because people don't understand how much more lush and plush and deluxe and extra fine our merino is compared to all those other brands. So we'd really, really appreciate um, some reviews about how good our merino is. Um, and we'll have a little um, bonus prize um, for all the reviews about the merino. And I think that's all the merino we have to tell you about. If you do have any more questions, just post them. Me and James will answer them. And there's just one other thing we want to give you a sneaky peek of, um, which is over here. James, you might need to move the camera. Yep. This. So with the arrival of our um, new batch of cotton bedding, I just sort of show you a sneaky peek of our toddler bedding sets. These are for, um, you know, sort of two years plus once your child um, is out of a sleeping bag and you're moving them into a duvet and... Um, looking for more, you know, duvet and pillow options. So come over here. This is our new toddler sized pillow. As you can see, it's really low profile, soft, it's even machine washable, because you know, children. And our organic cotton pillowcases. So if you can see there, it's, um, it's a really perfect, it's been specially made toddler size for, um, you know, in the cot not for babies. Pillows are not for babies, okay? For later. <laughs> and then this is our, um, what weight of duvet have you got in here? I it's did that all seasons. All seasons pack. It's yep. hard to show. Can you see how fat it is? This is our all seasons pack, which is a 200 gram and a 400 gram duvet snap together. So you can use them together. Um, or you can use them separately. So that's called the All Seasons Pack and it covers you for all through the year. Lightweight, midweight, two together, super warm weight. And that's one of our organic cotton um, duvet covers. And this is, lucky last, I forgot to tell you, this is our plush fleece blanket. Again, these sell crazy well, we're always running out. Don't know why I don't just order more. Um, <laughs> the latest batch has just come in and all our staff like these for themselves because they're so soft okay so that's it merino layering bedding deluxe 25 how long are we running that james two more days i got it for tomorrow midnight tomorrow but if <sighs> midnight tomorrow yeah one and a half more days go for it for all of this loveliness Thank you for watching. Oh, and we'll post the winner for the third competition shortly. For the that was for the um, dash the dot or the striped bodysuit. Good luck.